What's up guys, we have a special video for you today. We want to get some infield from a girl's perspective. So what we did was we put a mic on Natty and set her loose at a popular bar in Miami. We wanted to see how many guys were going to hit on her and what their game was going to be like. So we got this all on tape. We're going to do a breakdown of a guy who approached her and make sure you watch till the very end because it's going to be a very nice little surprise ending. Enjoy. All right, so let's jump straight into the infield. So we got her mic'd up. She's standing alone in her pretty little black dress at the bar, and we're watching this. So look at her just kind of pacing around, and she stood around for about a minute before she got approached. So I'm gonna fast forward through this because it's just you know her waiting, and you can see right about at the one minute mark, someone sees her, and he is about to approach. Kind of looks around. So his opener was actually not bad. He said, you know, the bar is closed. So it looks like he came to the party a little late, which is pretty good. Actually, it's contextual. Uh, it's kind of fun and flirty. So this is an opener that I might use myself. So, so far, uh, pretty good. Uh, I think it's already closed. I'm just going to That's too bad. That's too bad. What, what's your name? Nati. What's Nati? your name? Being a little too flirty, if you ask me. No, we told her to uh, play along. What about you? Where are you from? Colombia. Colombia. What part? Um, yeah. Really? I'm good at guessing, y'all. Uh, I, I mean, did, did, did you were you born here? Or like you, you came no, from like? No, I was like, not born here. I came here when I was 13. I, I can still hear like a little bit of the accent. De, yeah. de, directamente de Barranquilla, no? Yeah. Not not. It's not a Barranquilla accent. So the one thing that I want to point out is. His body language is a little too aggressive, and we talked about this afterwards. He's leaning in a little bit too much. So initially when you approach, you want to kind of lean back against the bar. And you're going to see this as it plays out. He's the one that's chasing her, right? So his opener was good. He came in good. But then at this point, you want to kind of bait the girl and get her to chase you a little bit. If you're the one that's doing all the chasing, then it's not going to work out then. So watch this. Where are you from? My parents are from but I was born here. Oh! Have you ever been to Can you believe my friends have not taken me? What happened? They should. What, what part are they from? Like where are they from? from? Really? You should go next time they go, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you should go. Yeah, have you ever been to the war before? Like, have you ever been I've, been here to, I, I've been here before, yes. Oh, cool, cool. I mean, you just got here, like, more or less, you just got here, yeah. Well, I got here late, so I feel yeah. you. I'm, I'm on the same tip. I'm like, I, I already, like, I drink it. You had one drink, you want another drink? Yeah. He's also a little impatient. Let the girl finish her sentence. So he's, this is a common mistake guys make, is they're afraid of silence. They're afraid of dead spaces. A little silence and tension is good. It's okay to have a moment of silence, right? You don't want it to last too long, but it's okay. That builds a lot of tension. And he's kind of afraid to let the conversation drop, which again, is a common beginner to be a mistake, but you want to get past that if you want to have good cold approach skills. Hey, if you guys are finding value from this video, then make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. All right, back to the video. You can probably look for another bar if you want a drink, I'll get you a drink, but... Oh, no. So here, this was a little poor thing. He just probably ran out of things to say. So he was like, oh, if you, we can look for another bar. If you want to get a drink, I'll get you a drink. Uh, yeah, you, you know, again, you don't want to be leading with that. Like, you know, you're trying to offer something for a girl because it's not, you know, it's not you're offering out the goodness of your heart. The girl knows you're doing it because you're trying to bang her, right? And basically when you do that, it suggests to the girl like, hey, I don't think I'm worthy enough of banging you on my own. So I have to offer you things to get the pussy. Oh, thank you. That's so okay, nice. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, shit. You know, what are you doing after? Like, where? So, like, right now, you can see he's like running out of conversation. Say, so this is like kind of a guy who probably, you know, has been with a few girls with his life. Like, he's definitely not complete and experienced. Probably been with several dozen of girls. He's a little bit like of a natural, but he just completely lacks any kind of like conversation structure. Like, he's just like, oh shit, running out of things to say. Uh, what are you doing after this, right? So, it's good to kind of be able to take a step back and just kind of have more repetition so you can just bullshit about anything. And there's so many things, you know, he could have, you know, talked to her about this moment, right? Like, ideally, you know, you want to get to the point where you just have a conversation indefinitely. And if you want to, for more information on that, see the video on this is how to never run out of things to say. Because clearly, he is running out of things to say. It's only been like a minute. You have, you know where like the after party's at? Or... Uh, I'm waiting for some friends. Oh, okay. Um, um... They're around here somewhere looking for you and you don't yeah. know where they're at. That happened to me like five minutes ago. I'm like, yo, like, they're like, yo, come to the front. I'm like, I'm in the front. They were in the back. And... 
So now look how she's leaning all the way back. Like you observe the body language, and he's very yeah. much leaning forward, right? Uh, so again, this is kind of this can be kind of problematic. So you want to kind of match the girl's body language. You don't want to be the one that's pursuing her all the way. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, do, do you have ID? Can I get? So yeah, here he's going for the IG clothes. I mean, this is also kind of lame. Like, oh, I've run out of things to say. Can I get your Instagram? Now, first of all, get the girl's phone number, have some balls. Second of all, is there a reason why you're asking for kind of information? Hey, listen, you're cute. I gotta get back to my friends, like if you run out of things to say, but we should grab a drink sometime, right? Oh, sure, sounds good, cool. Let me get your number, not, oh, so can I grab your Instagram? And here is where I come in. So let's see what happens next. It's gonna be interesting. Your ID, Ali? <laughs> you don't have ID at all, no? Alex. And I guess he was not fond of that. And there we go. So basically you can see average guy game. Uh, this is pretty much, we mic'd her up, we did this a little bit, and the reactions were pretty much always like this. All right, hopefully you guys found this video entertaining. We wanted to see what it was like from the girl's perspective. We're probably gonna do more of these types of videos. We're gonna mic up Natty and just see what it's like to be a girl, because I think it's always good if you're trying to master something to be able to look at it from the other person's perspective. Show us some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notifications. Seriously, just smash that subscribe button below. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.